Grateful Dead version of that, which is great too. Southern rock is what it is. I was telling you about all the jobs that I've had in, in the last year or two, just trying to reinvent myself, you know, and, and one of them uh, included taking an executive producer at an internet television talk show. Okay, it's hard to say. I and mean, what do you do for a living? It was so hard to explain. And by the time I got halfway through explaining it, people were turning around, walking the other way, looking at their watch. You know, but I guess that's what an executive producer of an internet television talk show and is this guy, Dino Costa. And he was on Sirius XM. And it was a cool thing because he had some investors. They were starting up this brand new internet television talk show by, by way of subscriber, you know, and so they were going to make their money by subscriber. And so he had a studio in Cheyenne, Wyoming. You know, snow-capped peaks and these beautiful rolling hills and buffalo everywhere. No. No, no, and no. That's, you know, way up in Cody. You know, that's with Jackson Hole and, and Yosemite and all that. That's where that beauty stuff is. This is rolling plains I'm talking about and cattle. And every now and then you see an antelope. You know, I mean, <laughs> here, just look at it this way. Cheyenne, Wyoming has about 60,000 people, okay? And, and, and when you pull into town... You, know, you see this big billboard on Lincoln Way, which is their main drag, right? And and it's this big thing, and it says, because it's tough out here on this billboard. And it was a suicide depression hotline number. <laughs> I mean, it, a suicide depression hotline number, and it is tough out there, you know. And, and so you dial up the number, and then, you know, there's just not much going on there. That's the whole thing with that. But that show started up the TV show, started up the internet, and then I learned the word of this. I learned the meaning of this word, troubleshooting, because anything that has to do with internet is all about troubleshooting. And that was cool for like three months. I mean, it, it really was. It worked a lot. Tried to get this thing going. It didn't quite work out. Dino's off doing something else now, and he's, he's got something cool going on somewhere else. But, you know, and, and, you, and it's tough living in a place like Cheyenne, Wyoming, because you just pull into town and you can just feel your spirit being zapped right out of you. And the minute you pull into Phoenix, he, he just says it comes right back. It's the darndest thing. So I've got an agent here, and then she got me this role for Inside the Hunt for the Boston Bombers, right? And I was playing David Hanbury, this guy that uh, found the bomber in the back of his boat. And, um, and they, I, there was a bedroom scene, and, and, and I had a wife, and it was weird, and I had to get in pajamas, and I had to look out my window and see the militia out because Boston was in a lockdown when they were trying to find these bombers. And I was looking out my window in the scene, and my wife showed up, who I didn't know, and she had her bathrobe on, and she had to get in bed with me, and it was really bizarre. And, and, and I looked, and I looked again, and, sort of, and she was 92 years old. I'm, I'm not lying to you. I shit you not. 92 years old. Whoa. Who cast you in this? I didn't ask that because she was sweet as could be, you know, and the producers took a look at her and the filmers took a look at her. Hmm. But you couldn't tell on their face. And so we filmed these bits for the uh, for the for the docudrama is what it's called. And I'm like, how are they going to handle this? She looks 50 years older than me, you know. And so then I went back and watched the show Inside the Hunt for the Boston Bombers. And they had one scene with her and she had some co couple of lines in it, too. And they had edited all those out and they had one scene with her where they blurred her face and you couldn't have told the difference. So dropped you know on the cutting edge on the uh, cutting edge floor or whatever that's it was was it? cutting room floor is what it was so anyway they're really good at what they did but uh, at one point as we walked out after filming she said you know i have a grandson that's older than you and uh <laughs> anyway that pops up from time to time so what i've told you about is about 12 different jobs i've had so i call it this man what i've done is 30 day trials something will stick it's music star worldwide blade radio show i hope something 